What is happening everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you lot are doing well and welcome to today's video which is on Chelsea Football Club's number nine. Yes, that's right, it's Tammy Abraham. Before we get into today's video, I'd like to request that you do subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit the bell notifications icon. And if you want to do me a favour, please do like this video because that helps me out. Right, let's get into it. So... Who is Tammy Abraham? Tammy is a young English centre forward, 21 years old, that hails from the Chelsea Football Club Academy. He's been with Chelsea since he was a very, very young boy. Even if Tammy Abraham looks a little bit lanky, he's actually got a really good, strong physical dominance on the football pitch. And he's a tall boy, he's over six foot two, so... He's up there. Tammy Abraham's been out on loan to other clubs, and we'll get into that and I'll give you some numbers. But he's been recalled to Chelsea Football Club at the age of 21 to take the number nine shirt and be Chelsea's centre forward. A big call, but super Frankie Lampard fancies it, and Jody Morris, obviously. And if you look at it, Tammy does actually have a wealth of experience in first team football. Okay, so a little example of how much experience he's got. Both Marcus Rashford and Tammy Abraham are 21 years old. Marcus Rashford has 39 first team goals and Tammy Abraham has 55. Now, I know this is at a different level because the vast majority of Tammy Abraham's goals came in the championship where Rashford's came in the Premier League. But it's still a relevant statistic because the Championship is a very demanding physical league and to be such a young striker and just used to scoring goals uh, in first team football at such a competitive level still, that's important. It means it's bred into him, he's used to scoring goals against big physical centre backs. And also, it may just be in the second tier but with a lot of experience in a physical league and at the age of just 21, I think that might be the perfect time and place and environment to convert those scoring boots to the Premier League. So let's talk about Tammy Abraham down in the Championship and a little bit in the Premier League, but mainly the Championship. So on that, let's look at his numbers. Starting with Tammy's first big proper loan at Bristol City in the 16-17 season. A good season for Chelsea. That season, Tammy Abraham bagged himself 23 goals and also nabbed three assists to go with it. That equaled out to a goal contribution every 131 minutes that season, which is a superb Herb return, I don't need to tell you. That's the season Tammy Abraham broke the scoring record in the championship for a teenager. A teenager had never scored that many goals in the championship, to put it a little bit more plainly, which is awesome him breaking that record. I think he was probably 18, 19 at the time, just bagging loads of goals for fun. Naturally, English football started to take a little bit more notice of Tammy Abraham, how this teenager was in amongst these 36 year old centre backs and he was just scoring goals with no issue so and a lot of goals as well so like I said naturally people started taking notice after such a great successful season at Bristol City Tammy Abraham did get a Premier League loan he was sent to Swansea City now sadly for Tammy this did not go well for a multitude of reasons which I'm about to get into but he only scored five goals and got one assist, which made for a goal contribution every 286 minutes. Gonzalo Higuain at Chelsea numbers. Obviously, this is an incredibly poor return, but you have to look at the season closer. Swansea were a sinking ship in that season. They were falling down the table massively. They had no stability. They had lost their identity. They used to be an attacking side, but at this point, Swansea had no identity. They weren't creating any chances for Tammy. He was often you know, left up the pitch by himself, isolated, and didn't have a chance to convert. No team chemistry, no cohesion, and really didn't play to Tammy Abraham's strength. So ultimately, it ended up as a dismal loan. But really, it's not a decent enough sample size to analyse Tammy Abraham in the Premier League because, like I said, didn't play to his strengths, weren't creating chances for him. So after his frustrating season for Swansea chasing shadows and getting no service, Tammy Abraham went back down to the Championship, to Aston Villa. Abraham was integral to Aston Villa's promotion to the Premier League last season, getting himself a whopping 26 league goals and again, free assists. This made for a seriously impressive average of a goal contribution every 118 minutes. 
Sergio Aguero numbers. So, last time he was down in the championship, he broke the scoring record for a teenager. This time round, he achieved an incredibly impressive feat as well. Abraham was the first Aston Villa player since 1977 to get a 25 goal season. No player had done it for Aston Villa since Andy Gray in 77. No problem for young Tammy Abraham though, goes back down there, scores shed loads of goals, gets Aston Villa promoted. In both Tammy's loan spells down in the championship, he only narrowly missed out on the golden boot. Both times. So frustrating for the youngster, but he still did very, very well to score all those goals. Probably wished he just scored one or two more to get that golden boot. So that is Tammy Abraham's first team statistics. But that's enough of the numbers because I want to look at something else. Let's switch over to the formation screen. All right, so let's talk about how Abraham plays. Starting with the two striker formation. So this is a relatively new formation for Tammy but it looks like it's something that he is going to be playing in more and more under Frank Lampard in the two striker formation this is where Tammy does his best pressing now it's really important to note he's quite an explosive high octane player he's got bundles and bundles of energy and he will give everything for the team every single match and that includes pressing from the front constantly. We've already seen in pre-season how he can run like a Duracell bunny and how he plays with such a sort of high octane style when it comes to pressing and hassling the opposition defenders. In this two striker system this suits Tammy Abraham more because when you're a lone striker and you've pressed the ball it feels a little bit hopeless because the passing channels are all there for the opposition to play out but when you've got a strike partner he can block certain passing channels as well so you feel a little bit more that pressing isn't hopeless so he can run close down knowing that his strike partner say Michi Batshuayi is also closing down the channels so there's a greater chance that Abraham can turn over possession or hassle the opposition into you know misplacing a pass. Right an important thing to note here is how this is new to Abraham the two striker formation even though Batshuayi has played in the two before him and Michi, Tammy and Michi need to learn chemistry together, a sort of strike partnership cohesion to know where each other are the whole time whether they're breaking out or they're combining and also they need to learn to be selfless with each other to find each other more. Once this chemistry is built up and there's a decent partnership there ultimately they'll both be better strikers for it or certainly be better in this Chelsea side. The more combinations you get from a strike partnership the better the team does. Just check out uh, Wolverhampton with um, Jimenez and Jota. I mean you know, there you have it. Right, switching over to the one striker formation. Okay, so Tammy will still run around and do a lot of pressing in the one striker system, but like previously mentioned, you can sort of waste energy a lot more by doing this. So what are the other attributes you need? Well, you need to be able to play on the shoulder and split centre backs, which he can do. He's a young, you know, energetic striker. It's not his best sort of um, trait, but he can certainly get better at it. And also, of course, you need to be able to hold the ball up. If there's no long ball coming over the top for you to run onto and for you to try and time your runs, which again is something he needs to improve on, then yes, you absolutely need to be able to hold the ball up and play in your inside forwards or wingers. This is going to be incredibly important for Chelsea because if they're going to rely on players like Christian Pulisic and Callum Hudson-Odoi to sort of cut in or combine moving up the pitch. Tammy Abraham needs to be able to receive the ball and play them into the game. Tammy Abraham can improve a lot in both formations, but fortunately, he's young, he's energetic, he's skillful, and he's willing to learn. Right, that is enough of the formations page. It's a big call making Tammy Abraham's Chelsea's number nine, and you can bet your bottom dollar that the main reason this is happening is because of Frank Lampard and Jody Morris. I mean, obviously Chelsea have a transfer ban, so they can't buy a new striker in, but they could have easily given the number nine shirt to Olivier Giroud for a season or two, or even Michy Batshuayi, who the club invested a lot of money in and is a decent centre forward. But no, it's going to Chelsea Academy product Tammy Abraham. And like I said, I think that's got a lot to do with the belief of Jody Morris and Frank Lampard in their own young players. Tammy has won everything at youth level. He scored over 50 first team league goals and he's only 21. And most importantly of all, I think he knows what it means to be a Chelsea player. He's come up through the ranks, he's idolised all the greats, and he's won through youth level. And now he's scored a lot of goals, even at the age of 21, and he's ready to go and he wants to play for Chelsea. Everything is set up to give him the best chance for him to have his Hollywood success at his boyhood club. 
Chelsea fans should want it, and you know what, England fans should want it as well. To be honest, it's unknown if Tammy Abraham could be a success at Chelsea, or at least be a top tier striker at Chelsea. But you know what, one thing isn't unknown, and one thing is for certain, Tammy Abraham will give 100% for the Chelsea Football Club shirt, and he will give 100% for Frank Lampard and Jody Morris. Right guys, so that's it for my video today. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, please do like the video if you haven't already and why not subscribe. As per usual guys, I wanna let you know about the exclusive Patreon content that's available to you guys for just $1 a month. If you pay $1 a month to my Patreon to become a patron, you get exclusive access to Q&As where I answer your questions on videos. That's obviously just exclusive to patrons. Also feel free to follow me on social media, Instagram and Twitter at Football Yannick. And that's it guys, you enjoy the football and I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me baby